Stanza Stones was uh, a commissioned project from the Ilkley Literature Festival, Ilkley being about 45 miles that way. And uh, we had this dream originally of putting a poem somewhere into the landscape. And um, it's turned out to be a sequence of six poems written across the what they call the South Pennine watershed. So essentially from here in Marsden in West Yorkshire up to Ilkley. And uh, each poem uh, is written about water in one of its forms or states. So here we've got the, the snow poem. They're not put in sort of celebrated beauty spots. Uh, we've tried to find quiet poetic corners of the landscape and I, I suppose in some ways this poem here is closest to my heart because this is the village uh, where I grew up and where I was born. We're actually in a, an old quarry so despite the fact that these moors are you know very rugged and, and wild and, and remote it has its own sort of solitude and there's, a, there's an interesting interaction between nothing and you know humanity and, and civilization so those kind of borders are good places for, for poetry to occur and I thought a, a good place to put a poem back as well so you know part of the impulse here has been to um, you know try and it's repay some kind of debt to poetry I, I've written a lot about the landscape and I uh, just thought it would be interesting to to put something back into it it's been a very peculiar process for me as a writer you know, usually I'm writing things that, that go into books uh, and you don't know who's reading them, off they go. These poems are, are sort of left out at night and in the rain. Um, they're not written for a sort of specialist, you know, poetry readership in, in the way that some poems might be. Uh, they're not even particularly signposted, so they are for walkers, ramblers, randomers, <laughs> as my daughter would call them. Um, and I, I think that changed my writing style to a certain extent. They're also, you know, given that they're, they're carved in stone, they're, they're written for readers from the future. You know, they, they could well be there for hundreds, perhaps thousands of years, and it's hard to anticipate, uh, you know, what, what, what the world will be like, what language will be like, what poetry will be like. So... Uh, yeah, there's a certain amount of, uh, of trepidation, but a huge amount of pride as well. Um, and I hope no spelling mistakes. Snow. The sky has delivered its blank missive. The moor in coma. Snow like water asleep. A coded muteness to baffle all noise, to stall movement, still time. What can it mean that colourless water can dream such depth of white? We should make the most of the light. Stars snag on its crystal points. The odd, unnatural pheasant struts and slides. Snow, snow, snow is how the snow speaks, is how its clean page reads. Then it wakes and thaws and weeps.